Hello! <laughs> Man, welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Man, I am finally not really sick no more. I still got to take my, uh, my medicines and shit, but... Man, I feel a lot better. I'm damn sure we gonna have a stream yard tonight. Um, we gonna have it probably later, cause I wanna watch. I wanna watch Rebel Moon again so I can break it down to you. <clears throat> but, but yeah, we'll talk about it later. All day football Sunday. I mean, I know it's gonna be some football games today. I'm going to re-watch them games, so we probably won't do a stream yard. I'll probably do some videos. I'll probably record some videos because I got to watch the games. I got to um, I gotta watch, you know, to see who played today, see how they did. And then we're having all-day football Sunday. Um, I got to see if there's a game Monday. If it is, then I'll probably do it. But, I mean, Monday I'm not. Excuse me. It's Christmas Day. <laughs> I'm going to be at the movies. I'm finna go see Aquaman 2 early. And then I gotta go um and then I gotta go see this damn color purple with my family. Like my mom and them love damn color purple. Like nobody care about no damn color purple. I hated the first one. I did not like the first one. I thought the first one was 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 bullshit. <laughs> I'm like, man, this is some bud it. Now, let's talk about it. So we basically, um, and what I'm talking about is, let's talk about, um, let's talk about um, the game from Thursday night. I know I'm two days late. I got to finish watching it last night. Um, the New Orleans Saints need to move Dennis Allen back to defensive coordinator. Um, and then they might need to go get them a quarterback. Derek Carr just don't have it. Unless, unless you bring in a head coach who actually knows how to. Derek Carr is a guy that you need. To, he's like Dak. There are guys that are like between 10 or 20 attempts a game. If you do that, you'll be unstoppable. You know, you got to make him a game manager. He has to be able to manage that game and stuff. And, you know, and I just don't think he can do it. Um, he tries too many wild passes. Him and Olave, I don't know what it is. But him and Olave cannot get on the same page. Olave had a chance to convert a fourth down. He beat his guy. Derek Carr threw the damn ball behind him. I'm like, oh, my gosh. What it, if, if they would have got that first down... They would have scored on that drive. But Derek Carr, and everybody does not like Derek Carr, and I don't even think it's the coach. I just think nobody likes Derek Carr because Derek Carr is, is going off on guys, trying to tell guys this, and guys is like, man, you ain't it. You act like you out here just lighting it up. <laughs> you ain't lighting nothing up, partner. So, so now... Basically, <laughs> we have um, we have a problem in paradise. I'm gonna set my phone. I'm gonna set my phone down. Not sit. I'm gonna set my phone down. <laughs> and y'all guys gonna hear my voice. I gotta eat this breakfast real quick before I get into work. But um, yeah, that's his problem. He's always, he's always been a guy, ever since his injury, Derek Carr has not been the same. He has. He hasn't been the same. That injury really messed him up. Because ever since then, he has not been able to really have a successful um, career. Now, the year John Gruden got um, kicked out the league, 
on some BS. He got the Raiders to the playoffs because of that coach. So, if you bring in a coach, a real head coach, the Saints will turn it around. Okay? The Saints will turn it around. They will. The Saints will turn it around. So, I told everybody, when Dennis Allen was hired, I told everybody, look, he's not a good coach. He is great at coaching one side of the ball. Some people are just made like that. Like for real. Some people, they're better coordinators. They just are. They suck when it comes to trying to get everybody up, make sure everybody's feeling okay, make sure nobody's feelings hurt, gotta get the most out of the guys. That's a lot of work. And people are asking for Mike Tomlin to get fired when he's had a winning season every year. And it's like, I just don't understand it. If Mike Tomlin was on this New Orleans Saints team, they would be winning the Super Bowl right now. I'm serious. Because what he would do is he would get everybody up. That defense, he would get those guys more routed. He would get them guys ready to play. Tomlin could oversee the team. Dennis Allen could be the D coordinator. And then it's like, okay, cool. Now, the Los Angeles Rams. I said before the season they would finish third in the division. But the reason they've been successful is because of the GM. Shout out to Sean McVay as well. Sean McVay should be up for coach of the year. He should be up for coach of the year. Sean McVay, dog, look. This is the difference between him and Kyle Shanahan. I trust him with the game on the line. I know Sean is going to make the right call. I don't believe Kyle will. And I believe the Rams get into the playoffs. Woo, buddy. Y'all are in trouble, 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 trouble. It's going to be some trouble. And I, I said it to Chris C. Shout out to Chris C. I said, Chris C. You know, Chris C. Be, you know, he laid back. I'm, I'm very hyped. <laughs> Chris C. was like, I already know HD, man. You know, that number 23, Williams Beast. I think that's the name, Williams, but he's a beast. Um, Alasua, but the guy that got Denard Robinson, shot out to Denard, no, not Denard, but something Robinson. Shout out to him. He's been a journeyman, and he's finally found the home. Man, he looked amazing. Matt Stafford. Look. If this team didn't start so late in the season to come on, Matt Stafford would be up the um, um him and that team would be up the MVP. He would be up the MVP. The way he's moving the ball. He is playing the quarterback position like it needs to be played. You know what I'm saying? Matt Stafford is on fire. He on fire. So, the defense, their middle linebacker, number 53, um, damn, what's his name? Payne. I think it's Payne the fourth or something. 
beast. Then they got a defensive tackle on the side of um, Donald. They got a nose tackle who's taking the pressure off Donald. Donald now can do what he has to do. Whenever he's getting double to triple team on the pass rush, they good. Run defense, Aaron Donald has gotten a lot better from what I saw. Now, I haven't seen him. I've seen him a little bit all season, but not all season. But Donald has looked good um, against the run, which is very shocking to me. Very shocking because he, he's not really that well at the run against the run. And people tried to get mad at me when I put Fletcher Cox over him. I said, because Fletcher Cox can play the run and the pass rush. Like, what you talking about? What you talking about? Now... The Saints have dropped the game. The Bucks play the Jaguars this week. This Sunday, I think. Or today, I don't know. If the Bucks win, they'll have two games up on everybody. But If they lose, it's going to come down the next week and the week after. But they're going against the Saints. The Bucks, the Saints. They have to win out. They've got to win out. If they win out, you know they'll get in, but I wanted us to tank. Because I think we could have got a better pick, could have traded, got some more picks, built the house up. That's what the Rams did. The Rams, they didn't care. They traded their picks. They only had the last four and three rounds left. They made it count. This is why I'm telling you guys. The Rams made it count. The reason they made this comeback to be in the playoffs, because of their draft picks late in the rounds. Alasua. Or Alakua, whatever his name is. I call him Alachu. I call him Alachu. <laughs> Number 23, late round pick. Henry Payne. Um, I think that's his name. Payne the fourth or whatever at linebacker. Chris C. If you hear this video, Chris C, let me know who number 53, the linebacker for the um Rams are. This is his third year in the league. He a beast. so well 
The Niners do not want to see the Rams. I'm telling you. Now, it's going to not the Niners. I'm telling you, the Rams know how to play them. They do. Yesterday's game. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Do you think the Rams pose everybody trouble? I think the Rams can mess around and go on a run and get to the Super Bowl. And then you can have another week preview. You can have another preview of the Super Bowl. Rams versus Ravens. <laughs> How would that? That would be a nice Super Bowl. Rams versus Ravens. It's very awkward, but could happen. Could happen. You know, how would that be? Rams and Ravens. <laughs> I'm just kidding with y'all. But yeah, thank y'all for listening, man. I am out. I'll probably go live again tonight. I might, depending on... Excuse me. No, I'm going to just do some videos. I'm going to drop some videos tonight for you guys. Y'all can hear my voice. <laughs> you know, because I got to watch the games. I got to do all of this stuff. I got to get prepared. And I'm feeling better, so I feel like knocking out about five. I think I might knock out a lot of videos. I'm going to try to finish the day. I might, I might get off late, but if I do, yeah. But yeah, y'all keep me posted, man. Thank y'all, man, for always supporting the page. Man, I appreciate y'all. Y'all support the page so much. Y'all the reason that we get a lot of people coming to the page. Yeah, we're still at a thousand. We've been at a thousand and something for a while. But hey, we could get to two thousand. We just need some more. You know what I'm saying? We just need 300 more subscribers and we'll get to two thousand, y'all. We don't do bots over here. We actually get it out the mud. You know, this has been fun. If I stay at a thousand, I'm happy to always tell you guys about the, the sports, about the news, everything. So, yeah, you guys be safe, man. I'm going to holler at y'all later. I'm out. Deezy.